How's it going YouTube? I'm Waterfields1. Welcome to this week's PlayStation 4 news, your roundup on everything PlayStation. Let's go. First up this week, the Bloodborne expansion, The Old Hunters, has an official release date. It's going to be with us on the 24th of November. Now with this expansion, there's also going to be a huge patch which introduces a new series of NPC hunters called The League. So on the 24th of November, Bloodborne, huge expansion, make sure you're there. Konami have confirmed the closure of their LA studio who were responsible for Metal Gear Online. Konami have confirmed that they will still support Metal Gear Solid 5 and Metal Gear Online. However, all future work will take place in their Japanese studio. Now, it's not going to have a major effect on us as gamers, but I never like to hear of people losing their jobs. It's a shame, but Konami have closed their LA studio. In a recent interview, Craig Sullivan, who is the creative director for the new Need for Speed has confirmed that there will be a lot of DLC for Need for Speed. However, he has also confirmed and reiterated that all the DLC will be completely free of charge. Now, everybody's saying that's bullshit because it's EA, but he has said it time and time again. All DLC for Need for Speed will be completely free of charge. We shall see, Craig Sullivan. We shall see. Invisible Inc. is getting a huge DLC expansion. It's going to be called the Contingency Plan. It's going to be released on the 12th of November and it adds heaps of content, including missions, characters, new difficulty settings, and much, much more. It's going to be with us on the 12th of November. That's Invisible Inc. Contingency Plan DLC. Gearbox have announced that their first person shooter, Battleborn, which is the team based shooter, has been delayed until the 3rd of May. That's a month delay on its original release date. Now, the team-based shooter will launch with 25 characters. That's pretty much it. I can honestly say I'm not fussed about this game at all. Blizzard have announced that their team-based shooter Overwatch will not be free to play. Now there were huge rumours suggesting it would be free to play. It will actually cost you £49.99p on console. It's coming to all the consoles and PC. It's going to be with us in spring 2016 and all versions of the game will come with 21 heroes. It's another game I'm not all that fussed about anymore. Sony have announced the official PlayStation 4 in-ear stereo headset. It's going to be priced at a ridiculous £78. It's going to be released on the 4th of December. It plugs directly into your DualShock 4, the same as the earbud. The game audio, party chat, all comes through it, but it's £78, and that is ridiculous. The footage you're watching is the original headset. There's no new footage of this one. I'm not all that impressed, and the reason I'm not that impressed is because of that ridiculous price tag. Now, Black Ops number 3 is on your store shelves, however, Activision have announced that Black Ops number 2 still has over 12 million active players. Now that is incredible. I love Black Ops 2, but that is still an incredible stat, especially considering that is on the last generation of consoles and still the PC. I'm impressed, Activision. I'm impressed. Epic Games have announced their latest shooter. It's going to be called Paragon. It's set for release early 2016. Now, there's no real info on the game at the moment. They're releasing these teaser trailers with some of the characters in at the moment. I really hope it's not another Overwatch and Battleborn, but it really looks like it's shaping up to be that way. And the final story this week is your game sales chart for the past week. In at number one, it's the Xbox One exclusive Halo 5 Guardians. No surprises there, however it has sold more than double of Assassin's Creed Syndicate which comes in at number 2, number 3 FIFA 16, number 4 WWE 2K16, number 5 Minecraft Story Mode, we just can't get rid of Minecraft can we people, number 6 GTA 5, number 7 Uncharted the Nathan Drake Collection, number 8 Watch Dogs which has made a, a, a recovery I guess, number 9 Lego Dimensions and number 10 Lego Jurassic World. That's it for this week, I hope you enjoyed the show if you did show some support and hit that like button if you're new around here then please hit that subscribe button i need 12 of you just 12 of you new guys and girls to hit subscribe to hit 200 subscribers which would be pretty awesome now a few of you have requested that i do a q a so leave any questions in the comment section below i love a cheeky would you rather or complicated maths questions or anything you want me to answer put that down in the comment section below of this video now coming up this week i'm going to celebrate uncharted a little bit on monday tuesday and wednesday i'm going to upload all the cutscenes from uncharted 1 2 and 3 in sort of a movie format 
<laughs> you can enjoy it. You can catch up on the story in time for Uncharted 4, which I still cannot wait for. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Enjoy your gaming week. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all soon. See you later. <laughs>